Nice. That's much better. You can dock now. I have no detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example. Or, uh, expandicles. Versticles. Pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. Looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. to the head? Nothing interesting here. Let's hope the deceased didn't walk away on their own. This boulder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Cardiac arrest, a common reaction of an elderly body to G-force. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through.
This is clearly not just simple steam, but I have no idea what it is or how it works. This is a fairly common situation, which is a bit disturbing. It's hard to tell anything from these remains. Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. What strange remains? If I make the assumption that coffins can replace the corpses inside them with fresh bodies like batteries, would you think I'm crazy? Interesting. The deceased has no pathologies or external injuries. He's healthier than you. Now everything is clear. I must say it looks pretty accurate. He even died awkwardly like the character in that series. I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Well, or like this. All right, time to check the dome. The cooling system controller should be here somewhere. We're looking for some sort of a, uh, box? No, probably a computer, or a room, or maybe a data block, or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Wait a second, this mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him. Amazing. Are you sure you're not adopted? The crew was killed shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. I noticed that it's enough for a human to get one hit in any part of the body to die, whereas coffins only die when certain points on the head and stomach are damaged.
Ouch, that must hurt. According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grandpa and his team. Did you know that he was supposed to be on board the liner? An employee pass is required. I wonder if a handy scrapper will do, or if you'll have to search the bodies. Nothing of interest. Solids detected. Solids detected. Deceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. Good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Apparently your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. Isn't this the brilliant scientist who disappeared with his grandson after claiming to have invented the portal gun? A masterpiece, or rather, it used to be a masterpiece. Remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. What a great relationship. I remember that event. I was at the dry cleaners after an unpleasant incident at the time, and while they were cleaning my circuit boards, I was taking a peek at the TV with literally just one of my sensors.
According to my data, this planetarium has the most detailed map of the galaxy. We could really use it right now. Did he know how to create ball lightning with his bare hands? What a great man. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Here it is, the cooling system controller. I told you it looked like, uh, this. Either the controller is broken, or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. Enough damage. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. I knew you wouldn't say no. It's hot, isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. However, I have some unpleasant news for you. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. All the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. I can't stop thinking about your brilliant relative. He clearly worked here and designed many of the liner's systems. Could the accident have been caused by someone who needed his body or the data from his office? Yes, that's right. The working fluid is inside of them in the area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Another elderly person with cardiac failure. I don't envy their funerary spacesuits. It must be so stressful for them. It's the working fluid, no doubt about it.
That should work. When installing it, don't touch the core shell. Great, it works. At least now you won't get fried inside of me and smear my lining with your combustion residue. No, there is definitely something wrong here. I tried to track the flight path of your relative's body using the information of the coffins we opened earlier. He disappeared right after you lost him. Moreover, the other coffins didn't receive either any signal about the destruction of the coffin or its coordinates. I can't believe it! It's a teleporter! If we fly through it at a certain speed, we can get to our station that we left behind! The automatic maintenance team compartments were located on the outer plating of the liner. No wonder they survived. Great! Let's go! Now we definitely need to fly there. Watch the turrets. It looks like it's one of the space military police. There we Apparently, we won't find any survivors here either. Hey, a door! How unexpected. This container seems familiar. Isn't it the capsule containing one of those ugly cow chicken hybrids that you irresponsibly launched to the surface of the planet? I hope it was empty already because there's no sign of the mutant itself.
contracts don't bode well. I can't imagine how hard the blow was. It seems to be the only way to get to the military shuttles. I suggest we turn back and try to find a safer place to loot. Now you face a fine under Clause 867A of the agreement for damaging the spacesuit with slime of an unknown origin. These are the tracks of the survivors. It's a shame they are bloody. detected some signs of an unknown infection on this body. According to intergalactic regulation number six, you must take some samples. There is a chance that the death was due to a huge hole in his stomach, and there are no traces of infection besides common acne on his face. Still, it's better to be safe and send the sample to Earth. Otherwise, it might turn out like in 2020 with COVID-19, but only we will be the ones to blame.
was a real massacre here not so long ago. What is this thing? Throw it away! Judging by the tangled footprints leading from the cabin, the mutant attacked these unfortunate fellows and got drunk on their blood, which had a lot of something alcohol containing in it. I wonder if the inventor would have evaded criticism if he had made it in the shape of a female hand. After the invention of artificial intelligence, there was no sense in having mathematical competitions anymore. I would beat any champion, even if I just had one CPU core. By the way, there's a chance that these are the only survivors besides us and your interlocutor with a strange accent. To be more precise, they were the only survivors until you launched a capsule with a mutant at them. What the? Run! It's definitely the mutant from the capsule. I hope it won't be able to get in there and come after us, but we'd better get out of here. By the way, we found the shuttles. All the shuttles are damaged. However, we only needed their armor plates in the first place. I don't understand mutant language, but it definitely wants to kill us. It's close. <laughs> this shuttle has armor plates. We can't get them from the outside. Maybe we can pick them off from the inside. And no, we won't be able to pick anything off from here. I bet you've learned most of your survival skills from such games, haven't you? <laughs> and here's the owner of the shuttle. Looks like this guy confused the toy wheel with the real one and tried to get away during the battle. Well, games don't get you anywhere, that's for sure. Especially if you're an idiot.
You should hurry up. We need to get out of here. The shuttle is under repair. We need to examine it. Sounds are good. Looks like it's the control panel for the jack. Here it is, an armor plate that we can use to close the hole in the core. They haven't fully welded it. You need to tear off the brackets and lower the jack. Remains only to lower the jack. plate was more than 900 kilos. Maybe we should take a closer look at it. <sighs> Judging by the remains of the mutant, the plate is really heavy. Are you sure you can't carry it? I hope it, it doesn't look like we can carry it. This is a mechanic from some other game. You don't have any strength at all. It's time to go back. I don't know what this monster would have done to us if it had caught up with us, but did you see its terrible animations? I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely the most creepy creature in the universe.
It looks like a technical corridor. We could use it to go back so we won't have to crawl through the ventilation system. Some more traces of slime. The mutant clearly used the technical corridors. By the way, I wonder how many mutants survived the flight to the planet. Ah, here's the way out. Probably. And yes, I was right. We got back to Norman. Great. I recommend that we get out of here as soon as possible. We can't install any armor plates. We can't steal any shuttles. So we have nothing else to do here. Hmm, by the way, while we were running from monsters, someone patched up our hole and put armor plates on the hole. Probably it's the local repair team who worked on it when they noticed the identification marks on Captain Shepard's ship. So it turns out that we could have stayed in the shuttle all this time. Thank <laughs> you. 